is a winding road no telling where it goes hello my angels and welcome back to my channel i've been doing so much spring cleaning lately i feel like scotty and i have turned your house quite literally right on its head and with spring cleaning comes a closet clean out and a closet transition and some of those are my favorite videos to film where we're kind of going season to season and of course as you see behind me my closet isn't ginormous it's definitely a great size and pretty average as well so I often like to trade in my seasonal clothing currently behind me I have the bulk of my fall and winter clothing and I'm gonna be putting some of that to sleep very soon hopefully fingers crossed as we broach into spring and summer but but with that being said, I want to put my clothes away in their best sort. I want to put them away when they are clean, when they are ironed, when they are debobbled. And so today I wanted to dive into a topic that is currently near and dear to my heart, which is how I take care of my clothing. Now, most recently moving into my thirties, I've noticed that I'm trying to shop smarter, right? Smarter, not only in terms of finances, but also smarter in terms of the products that I'm selecting. So that comes down to looking at those tags the material but we definitely do have some polyester still behind me that takes a little bit of extra care to have it still looking nice but when it comes to spending a little bit more money on my garments I want to make sure that they go the extra mile so let's dive into a few quick tips on how you can refresh your wardrobe make sure it is being put away really really nice and that you are allowing those garments to go the extra mile okay be honest when was the first time you did your own laundry was it when you you went away to school? Was it maybe earlier in your childhood and you helped your mom or dad separate the laundry out? Or are you still kind of learning the ways on how to do your own laundry? Well, I maybe fall somewhere in the middle. When I went away to school, I was definitely on my own, learning a lot about how to care for myself and my things. But I gotta say, and I know my mom would leave this comment if I don't just come out and say it, I am rough on my clothes. I definitely am someone who has buttons fly off, sometimes gets holes in their clothes, and I don't know what it is. It's just me, I guess. So one of the first things that I always make sure that I do when I'm doing my laundry, this is the no-brainer, is separate it out. We don't wanna be putting in some jeans with our new pair of white trousers because you know what? You're going to end up having a pair of jeans and a pair of light blue trousers by the time that that wash load is done. So separating your laundry is one of the very first steps in caring for your clothing. And keep in mind, this is for the clothing that actually goes in the wash. The other side of this is making sure that if things need dry cleaned, they are definitely not being put in the tumble dryer or the wash. Okay, so next up, let's talk about the hero product of my personal laundry days and what I've been using for a while now and what I absolutely love, not only for the sustainability practices, but also the way that they work. So if you've never heard of them before, this is True Earth and True Earth is an incredibly sustainable company, upping the ante when it comes to sustainability in laundry day. In this package, which is insane, is 32 loads of laundry. Look at that. How much space do those huge detergent bottles take up in your linen closet? Probably a ton. So not only are you gonna save so much space, you're gonna be doing good by the earth. So I've got fresh linen and I also have fragrance free. These are my new ones. The other ones that I use all the time are currently in the wash and I'm gonna be showing you some b-roll throughout this of me doing a wash and how little these are. So what's so amazing is 32, you take out a sheet and it's just half a sheet and you throw it in there with your wash and you are good to go. They also have an ultra concentrated section as well, True Earth, and a baby formula. So something that is like extremely gentle. So what is so fabulous about these sheets specifically, if you are someone like me who has sensitive skin, off the package here, clean, green, simple, phosphate free, biodegradable, hypoallergenic, one for dioxane free, which is often a lot of those irritants, especially with fragrance free as well. Sometimes those fragrances cause a lot of irritants with our skin. So it depends on who you are out there, but I highly recommend checking these guys out. And from the perspective of your actual machine, my mom the other day had, they have Miela machines, and my mom had a Miela technician come over the other day, and he was saying to her, wow, you're doing such a good job taking care of these machines. And he said one of the biggest mistakes that people make when it comes to the care of their machines is they put in too much detergent. 
And sometimes I think we just think, oh, more is better, right? Well, in this case, it's not true because we don't need that extra detergent sitting in our clothes in the fabric because that's not necessarily good for your clothes. And it's really, really bad for the machines if you have too much detergent in there. So whatever detergent you choose to go with, again, I highly recommend True Earth because you can see how simple and small that detergent is still with really strong acting properties within it. But whatever detergent you use, just make sure that you're putting in the proper proper amount and you're not going a little bit too big for your britches in each load. I wanted to add a quick note about fabric softener specifically. So I don't use fabric softener often, but you definitely can. And I think it's just one of those things I haven't integrated into my routine. But fabric softener is a product that you don't want to use specifically on your athletic wear. And I'll tell you why. Fabric softener basically coats all of the little fibers within your clothes, makes them soft, makes them nice. But when it comes to active wear, active wear is specifically created to wick moisture away from your body and fabric softener will kind of take away some of those properties in your active wear. So while you are washing, just make sure that if you are doing active wear, you are removing that step of using fabric softener. I also love to refer to clothing as a direct comparison to your hair, for example. So I remember Jonathan Van Ness saying, if you washed your t-shirt every single day, what would be the outcome? Well, of course it would get a little bit ratty, a little bit worn and probably much thinner because you're just constantly pulling things out of that t-shirt. Yes, 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 yes. It's the same for your hair, so that's why you don't wanna wash your hair every single day. But this is something to keep in mind when you think about how many times something actually needs washed. And this is one of my favorite next tips. This is called the transition basket. So of course we have what's fresh and clean in our closet, we have our laundry, basket that has our dirty clothes that definitely needs to go in the wash next but then sometimes you're just wearing a pair of jeans well jeans are just a whole nother thing you just do not need to wash jeans as much as we do but what if it's a t-shirt or a cardigan like I'm wearing right now of course after one wear you don't necessarily need to wash it but if it's one of those scenarios where you're not really wanting to put it back with your clean clothes, I have what's called a transition basket. So this isn't my laundry basket, and it's not my closet, it's just things that I've worn that can definitely have another wear that are kind of in that in-between phase, ready to grab and go once again. Not only is this going to help the longevity of our clothes, but also just maybe even the simplicity of choosing outfits day to day. Okay, so now we have washed our clothes, we have separated them, and now we've got to dry them. I hope this comes as a no-brainer as well. I feel as though into adulthood, this is something I really keyed into more and more and more. A lot of me and Scotty's clothes do not go in the dryer. Of course, there are some things that definitely go in the dryer with your towels in there, with your blankets in there, like socks and things like that. But a lot of things we hang to dry. I'm pretty sure Scotty actually hang dries his socks as well. So this is something to keep in mind as well. By removing that step and getting a clothes horse like this one and hanging your clothes to dry, you are definitely doing them a service and keeping them really, really nice long term into the future. The dryer as well can be one of those mystery zones where you lose socks or you shrink your sweater by accident. I have most certainly fallen victim to many shrunken sweaters because of the dryer. Pro tip as well, in the summer, it is so incredible to set that clothes horse outside and allow some of that summer or spring air help to dry your clothes. Also, if you experience winter and fall and you can't put your clothes outside during that season, one thing that Scotty and I think really helps is when you put that in your bedroom that needs a little bit extra humidity, but if there's not a lot of air moving around, it will take extra long for it to dry. So we have a dehumidifier as well as a fan going sometimes. This is especially a good tip if you have a small space. Let's take it back real quick, okay? Because when we are separating our clothes, one thing we wanna check is pockets. I'm sure we've all washed the Kleenex. I have currently fallen victim recently to washing Rosie's doggy bags <laughs> because they're just in every pocket of every jacket. We are very well prepared on that front. So let me know what you have washed down below in the comments. Have you ever washed your phone? Have you ever washed something that was important to you? For jeans and bras and things like that, to care for my clothes, I'll always do up the zippers. And it's not only because of that garment kind of getting pulled around in the machine, but it's really to protect the other clothes that are in the machine. And specifically with bras, I mean, if you've done a wash with a bra before, 
before. They just get so tangled and sometimes they can kind of strangle other clothes together. This is one of those things I suggest if you can take the time and you do up those hooks and you just pray they stay together, you will be in definitely a better sort when you have to maybe remove that wash, put it on the dryer or put it on your clothes horse. Let's get into the part, the stage where I feel like I'm at right now. And that is a clothing care day. So this is something I mark in my calendar. I consider it a day for me. I want to grab my shirts out of my closet and have them be ready to go. I don't want to grab my shirt out of the closet and it's super wrinkly and I'm just like, oh, now I gotta iron this. Because the truth of the matter is, babe, you're not gonna grab for that shirt because it's just an extra step. So what I do is I plan a clothing care day. And this is the day where I iron things that need to be ironed, I debobble things that need to be debobbled, and I just make sure that everything that's in my closet is good to go. Now let's talk about my favorite debobbler most recently. I found this product. I am in love with it. It's from this um, company called The Steamery. It's a Stockholm based company. And I purchased this on Amazon. I'll have them linked below. There's actually a few different colors. And on the bottom it says care for fashion, which we love to hear, especially in a video like this. And it's this little tiny, it comes with this little cap, but it's this little tiny egg guy. And what you do is you can charge it with a USB which is so easy, we've all got those around the house and it comes with one as well. And all you have to do is press that little button on the top and it will start shaving off those little bobbles. And I'm gonna include tons of footage here because there is one polyester sweater from H&M that I absolutely adore. And I've gotten so many compliments about the color and everything, but it is polyester. And the fact of the matter is, it starts to look a little bit cruddy after a while if I don't take the steps to upkeep this sweater. Your sweater will look brand new. And on these days too, I basically just put on YouTube videos or blast music or a podcast and I'm just going to work and I'm just caring for my things. And the more that I find I spend time caring for my things, the less I have the urge to shop and the more I just kind of appreciate what I have. I also wanna know on a clothing care day, I choose to steam. So whether it is ironing or steaming, there's definitely some products that work better with ironing, but I've seen in so many of these videos and comments, people say, oh my gosh, I burned so many things with the iron. It's a no brainer if you can get a steamer. And this is the steamer that I have gotten and I've had for a couple years now. The reason why I got this one is because it's perfect for travel if I have to bring it with me and a big pro tip if you do have a steamer you want to make sure you put distilled water inside the bottom there this is something that is going to really help that machine carry over year after year because all of those minerals inside of harder water maybe coming from our sink tap those are going to start to build up in the machine and they can even leave residue on your clothing, which is something we definitely don't want, especially on a clothing care day. We don't wanna go back to step one. I do love an iron though. Sometimes there's just something so classic about a crisp white shirt after a beautiful iron. Same thing goes for the iron and the distilled water as well. Last but not least, hey, our clothes have to follow our lifestyle. So again, if there is something that you are shopping for specifically that has very specific care instructions that you just don't think is in your wheelhouse, don't buy it. And that is where you continue to be a smarter consumer, a smarter shopper, and you're just gonna be building the wardrobe of your dreams. Buying something that's dry clean only or something that maybe needs a hand wash doesn't really put me off, but it has to be something I really, really love. And now moving in through my 30s, maybe having a little bit more flexible income when it comes to buying clothes, I'm definitely more mindful about the materials. And because I've gotten the opportunity and I'm very grateful for to have some very high quality pieces, I can spot the difference. But nonetheless, even if you are at the point where you are purchasing polyester goods no worries because there are ways that we can take care of those pieces so they can keep looking crisp and we can keep looking good all the time let me know your care instructions down below and please do check out true earth a big shout out to them for that integrated paid advertorial it just felt so seamless for me because I truly use these all the time and I have just found a really big love for them. So I will link them down below as well. You can again, order them on subscription and a ton of other suppliers. Thanks guys so much for watching. Let me know your care tips down below and sorry if my voice was a little bit horse. I've said horse so much in this video with clothes horse drying rack. I guess there's many ways you could say it, but sorry my voice is a little horse. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. Don't worry, I tested myself, it's negative, but being around kids and just being out and about, I mean, 
it's pretty much bound to happen. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well though, and I hope you subscribe and like this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys! Life is a winding road